Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stick around for a while. Tomorrow's the big day. It's going to be the birth of my third daughter. Getting kind of nervous. I'm going to try to film as much as I can, as much as my wife's going to let me. She's extremely nervous right now. Uh, C-section birth because the baby's breached, the legs are up here, and it's kind of fold. The baby's folded up, so we're hoping... Everything's going to be fine. We're a little nervous, but I just wanted to give you a little timeline of our lives in the last two years. Um, hopefully spread some motivation, inspiration. If anybody's having a hard time out there, just listen. I mean, two years ago this week, um, we lost my mother unexpectedly, uh, August two years ago. Completely crushed everybody. You know, she was 63 years old, and uh, we left us all just... She was took care of everything on the farm, you know. I mean, we were pretty much babied. Uh, we had to learn very quickly and realize how much she did. Um, fast forward six months after that, uh, my son Grant was born. You guys, a lot of you guys, seen that. That was that was. Uh, it helped. It helped. You know, one life ends, another one's born. That's the circle of life, I guess you'd say. Um, six months after that, so a year after mom. Um, so one year ago now, in August, I came down with salmonella poisoning and um, reactive arthritis followed for a solid four months. I was pretty much, for a week there, I was about in a wheelchair or bedridden, and I was pretty much crying every morning, feeling sorry for myself. Thankfully, my wife was working here from home, and she was kind of talking me out of it and getting me going. I used to get up and have to, like, hold on to her just to get out. I had to take pain medicine an hour before just to be able to move. I mean, it was a rough time, but I came out of it. I tried to stay focused, and uh, positive was the main thing. I got back on reading all my books and stuff. I had a lot of times on my hands. I was sitting there. I didn't work for over two, two and a half months, so it was terrible. Um, and then now, finally come out of it. Two years later, we're going to have the birth of my third daughter. So, And it took two years. Like I said, I ended the last video telling you. We're finally cleaning out the farmhouse and getting stuff. Well, we finally got mom's ashes, and I got this urn, and um, I got, we kind of split the ashes up. Some people, some family members, you know, there's, they're going to spread some. I decided I wanted mine here with me, so I'm going to keep mom probably with me out here or in the house. So I just want, you know, mom's here. She's watching over us. I know we're going to be fine. It's just, uh, so that was two years that was rough. I'm kind of getting emotional thinking about it. But if you're ever going, if you're in a bad spot, don't give up. Because one move, one little event, one person you meet, boom, turn your life around. Okay, with that being said, let's hit it. Let's go. this when we get back but we've made it to full term our shells getting packed up and we're gonna head down about an hour away hour away to the hospital so let's go in the room already. Four o'clock, wake up. Took an hour to get here, already in the room, getting ready to start the IVs. 
getting ready. Got it hooked up. Baby's heartbeat's going. I said. She's not sure about the recording. Food brings breakfast. Looks excellent. And I'm not hard to please, but it does look really good. So hopefully we're going home today. We're gonna to get this cleaned up and head back to the ranch. Bags are packed, waiting on the paperwork to get the heck out of here. We are ready. We are ready. Pulling the car around, packing everything up. All right, guys, car seats in. Let's go get mom and baby, Holstein. Ready to go, hon. Good. Way we go, guys. Turn left. Turn left, and she said to be careful. Guys, we're almost home. A little bit of different scenery than what you just saw. We're pulling in the house real shortly. I see the farm, guys. You miss me? We're home. day finally getting settled in mom's doing better the girls Catherine's got the baby Grant's got his little rocker cleaning out the farmhouse I found this rocker this was my rocker when I was his age this kid looks like a beast now compared to the, the newborn 
And the baby's just waking up. Catherine's been holding her. But everybody's doing good. Oh, I thought too I'd show you this room that we created for baby Summer. This was just a storage room. Back in the day when this was a school, uh, 56 and before, this was a bathroom. You can see there's some different wood under here. And that's where the, this was a girl's bathroom. It's one of the first schools that had a girl and boy bathroom. But we ended up gutting this out, painting it, and uh, and this is, this is, so now we're using every inch of this house. We've got some different stuff here. This is the light. So baby Summer in her clothes, Dad. Of course. The... So baby Summer in her clothes. So yeah, we've got, she's got all this stuff ready. The little dresses, all this. Diapers. Welcome to the world. So yeah, we've got all this installed, ready to go. Grant, up on your feet, bud. Up. That yeah, boy. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, original floors. Come on, bud. So we got a bassinet in our room is where she's staying right now, and then we've got this other one here. She lays out here when we're hanging out. Grant, he's been throwing temper tantrums. You're not the baby no more, big boy. <laughs> Gonna give him a haircut too soon. Don't worry, guys. Be nice to sissy. Grant, you gonna help? Thank you. That is nice. She's eating. Oh, Bubba. Oh. Easy, Bubba. That's not. Nice. He's as big as you. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you watched the birthing video. Take care, everybody. God bless. Say bye-bye.